the Bernoulli effect, okay? Sort of a funny name, unless you're used to those kinds of names, but the Bernoulli effect simply says, right, if you've got some fast moving air, right, it's only going to be fast moving, it's going to have less pressure at the same time. So if I blow over the top of this piece of paper, I'm not blowing on the paper, but just over the top, what that means is the air moves along really fast along the top. And so since it's moving so fast, it, in some way, to simplify, you could say it has less time to push down on the paper. And so basically the pressure underneath the paper is the same, but the pre pressure due to the air moving across is less, and so the paper gets held up by the pressure underneath. So we can kick that up a notch and see this on a bigger scale. So if we blow air between the cans, pressure is reduced and they should come together. Just like that. Amazing. Here's kind of a long windsock out of plastic. It's just a giant plastic bag and I sealed off one end. And I'm going to inflate it with one breath using Bernoulli's principle. Well, this is what happens if I try it just using a breath. If I do that, I get about that much air in with two breaths. But Bernoulli's principle says that if I use a different technique, I can fill up the entire bag with one breath. So here goes. All right. Try that again. So here goes. I filled up almost the entire bag with one breath. Okay, now the trick is as follows. So, the second time when I was blowing air into it, I was blowing my air into the center, right, of the bag, but because the pressure was reduced there when the point where the air was going by, it drew more air in with it. So basically, one breath kind of was the motivating force that also brought all the other air into the bag. So I could just about completely inflate it with one single breath. All right? And there's even more cool things we so can now do. Now I've got air flowing through this tube. Watch what happens when I set the ball on top. It just sits there and floats until I turn off the air. Now what's going to happen when I turn the air off on when the ball's down here? It should shoot right out, right? It doesn't. In fact, it doesn't even fall out when it's upside down. What keeps it in there? Well, it's because, the, once again, the Bernoulli effect and the air pressure, the air has to flow all the way around the ball, and so basically it keeps the ball in line and check there, and it doesn't allow it to move because the air is moving around so fast that uh, it, it, it keeps it in the slot. All right. Now for the grand finale. So we already know that if I blow across the top of this piece of paper, we can pull it up. But that's just small scale Bernoulli effect. We're talking big scale here. So now let's do the finale. We need some serious power here. We've got a leaf blower. We've got a roll of toilet paper. Let's kick some Bernoulli. Took us. some serious Bernoulli effect. All right, remember the air is going fast across here, so the pressure is less on the top than below the paper, so it's lifted up and then it gets caught in the air and that's how it gets a little bit forward. Great way to toilet paper the whole auditorium. See you next time. If you take a straw and cut it in half and put it in some water, you can line up the two sides so that you shoot air right across the top of the straw. Of course, I'm sure you'd never do that in a public place.